Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So over the weekend, I was craving some good Puerto Rican barbecue, but it was still a little chilly and I kind of didn't want to turn on the grill outside. So I decided to make these in the oven. Yes, I made some oven baked chicken pinchos and they came out so good. And the best part about them, they are super easy to make and they are very versatile. So let's get into it. So to start off this chicken pincho recipe, I have here about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Feel free to use chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. If you're not a fan of chicken breast, that is totally okay. But I'm just using what I had on hand in my freezer. First, I'm gonna start off by adding the juice of one lime. The lime is really good. It's gonna add really good flavor and it's also going to help tenderize our chicken breast while it is marinating in the fridge which is key for chicken breast because it can be pretty dry. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of my homemade sofrito. I'm adding here about a tablespoon or so. This is gonna add really good flavor as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Normally I add this first, but I don't know what I was thinking. This is a marinade, so the order doesn't matter. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of some all-purpose seasoning. Make sure that it is a garlic-based all-purpose seasoning or even your favorite seasoning that you like to use the most. I'm using the Lori's Casero, feel free to use adobo. Then I'm gonna add a bit of some ground black pepper to taste about half a teaspoon of garlic powder. This has no salt, so I am, I definitely added more than half a teaspoon. That was about a whole, a whole teaspoon. <laughs> and then a little bit of some dried parsley for some color. You can also use oregano. And just half a packet of Goya Sazon con culantro y achote. Normally I don't like to add sazon to, um, to chicken. I only like to add it to stews and broths and stuff like that. But since I am going to bake this, but again, this recipe can also be for grilling. I decided to just add a little bit for some extra color and flavor. If you do not wish to use sasson, feel free to use paprika or dry ground annatto powder. And after my chicken is nice and well seasoned, I'm going to leave it in the fridge for at least two hours, but you can safely leave it in the fridge for up to two days for best flavor. All right, now it's time for the easiest part, which is assembling my pinchos. I am going to leave some pinchos without any veggies on them while I am adding peppers to the other pinchos. Now, I only have yellow bell pepper on hand, but feel free to add onion, any other kind of peppers that you like, thin slices of pineapple as well will go really nicely. You can get as creative as you like for these. And once my pinchos are all assembled, I was able to get about seven hearty pinchos with only a pound and a half of chicken, which is pretty good. And I'm going to set them in my oven at 400 degrees on the top rack with a mold filled with water to help create steam in my oven so that my pinchos do not dry out while they are baking. And I am going to cook these pinchos for about 40 minutes until they are done. And halfway through the bake time, I'm gonna flip them over to ensure even cooking. And after 40 minutes, my pinchos are done. They are nice and golden and they did not dry out because that container of water definitely did the trick. And also adding the lime juice in the marinating process helped a lot. Even if you're using chicken thighs, be sure to try the container of water in the oven trick it really does help. This recipe and this method of making pinchos in the oven is perfect for those who do not have a grill or who live in an apartment and can't do barbecues. Give it a try. And that is all for today's video. I happily paired these pinchos with some homemade coditos, a couple of tostones. I also made some garlic bread with some fresh pan sobao and I was good to go. And the good thing is I have a recipe for everything on this plate except for the garlic bread. So please be sure to check them out. 
And as always, if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a ton. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because a new video will be out every week. Until next time.